Hey everyone, thanks for checking back. Now today, I'm going to talk with you about DBT therapy, or Dialectical Behavioral Therapy, so stay tuned. So like I said, today I'm gonna to talk about DBT therapy, Dialectical and Behavioral Therapy. Now, to give you a little history of DBT, um, and I'm gonna to try to keep this as short as I can, but if any of you wanna Google it or get a workbook, and check it out, do that, because there's a lot more to it than I can ever get into a YouTube video. So DBT therapy was created by Marsha Linehan, and she was studying, uh, she was a psychology researcher, I believe, at University of Washington at the time. What, Washington, hey, Huskies? Okay, anyway, she was studying there, and she decided, um, due to her own struggles with borderline personality disorder, she noticed that a lot of therapists that were working with patients like this, that we were um, what they call getting burnt out. And when in therapy we talk about burnout, it's like you really wanna help this client, but you honestly have to refer them because you're so exhausted, you've tried everything, they're still having suicide attempts, and you don't know what else to do, you're feeling kinda of helpless, and so they recommend as a therapist that you refer them out. And so she came up with dialectical and behavioral therapy, combining some of um, CBT therapy skills, which I have a video on CBT, and you wanna um, click on the link here actually if you wanna check it out. And um, it's combining that, and also some of the Buddhist principles about being aware and mindful. Um, and she kinda squished those together and created DBT therapy. And I'm, I made some notes here, I have my laptop down here, that's why I'm looking down, um, so that I don't forget any of the the contents of it because DBT therapy is something that has two parts. First of all, you see a therapist like me who's a certified DBT therapist and they'll see you each week for an hour just like your regular therapy. But on top of that, you also are in a DBT group and you eat for two to two and a half hours each week and that's honestly where you get into the nitty gritty of this and you do a lot of homework. Um, if any of you are looking for a workbook, I have one in my web, at my website katiemorton.com in the widget a great DBT workbook, and you can find it that way. Now, without further ado, because it can get, like I said, it's really intensive, um, there are four modules to DBT, and I'm gonna go through them really quickly so that um, you, I can keep this short, but if any of you want me to do more videos on this, give this a thumbs up, and in the comments below, let me know what topic you'd want me to talk about more. I've already done a video on the first one, so I'm just gonna say mindfulness is one of the first, they call it like the foundation of DBT, and I have a video on that, so you can click this link for more information on mindfulness. And I'll talk about the what skills, the how skills, and all that jazz. The next portion, number two, is distress tolerance. Now distress tolerance is what I talk about a lot when I say distract yourself, don't do it, don't give in to the urges. And they talk about distracting with accepts. DBT is all about the acronyms, so get ready, because you're gonna have to remember a lot of these. Now, accepts talks about activities like, hey, get out of the house, go see a friend, get coffee, do some art, I don't know, have an activity. Contribute, help out others in your community. Look at us, we're so good. Comparisons, emotions, push away, like I can't deal with this now, I'm gonna push into the back, right? Thoughts and sensations. So if you looked at all the first letters of all those words, it reads accepts. Now there are others under that, but I want um, I want to keep going because you can also let me know if you like it and you want me to talk about distress tolerance in more detail. Now the next, um, the next portion of DBT is emotion regulation because like I talk about in my borderline personality disorder video, which you can click here to view, um, I talk about regulating our emotion because when we have borderline, we feel like it's all out of whack and we worry, don't leave me, wait, no, I hate you. Ah, we just feel really overwhelmed. And so regulating our emotions can really be the key to us being more participative with our friends, feeling like we could really love others, have others love us, and we start to feel a little bit more safe and our mood, instead of being up and down like this, starts to kind of level out and it can really help. And this, the main part, of emotion regulation is, is uh, I guess the best way to say it's a huge chunk of CBT therapy. They want you to uh, realize what event has caused this, what emotion came out of it, what action you took as a result, and it tries to slow down the process and um, get us better able to regulate it without just jumping to a conclusion, right? So I'm gonna scoot down that, and there are a lot of acronyms under this, so like I said, get prepared. Now the last, the fourth portion of DBT therapy is interpersonal effectiveness. 
Now, something that we struggle with when we have BPD is having close relationships and having people that we really trust, we love, we feel that they trust and love us in return, and we're secure in that and having that secure attachment, right? So in this portion, um, we talk about kind of how to assert yourself by while at the same time not being aggressive, right? So, hey, uh, Sean, what you said to me really hurt my feelings, and I understand you're going through a lot right now, but I felt very misunderstood or very uh, unimportant or whatever it is you're feeling, and you're able to express that without being like, you stupid son of a gun, I hate your guts, and blah, 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 right? And it teaches us how to better communicate. So if any of you are considering DBT, or if you've been told or been diagnosed with um, borderline personality disorder, I would look into it. It is amazing. It's a lot of hard work, but it's so worth it. You're worth it. Check out the workbook on my website, um, the one that's in my widget, because it's amazing. And doing the homework and putting the work in will really mean a happier, healthy life down the road. And isn't that what we're all working for, right? So keep checking back. Like I said, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos that I linked because it's really helpful and it will give you a big, bigger picture of what this is about. And we'll keep putting one foot in front of another as we work towards a healthy mind and a healthy body.